Okay. Now we'll show you how to make um, vibratos, vibrato programs. <coughs> Okay, so we have our baseline here. Um, now we just make a, something that goes straight up. And we want to put a vibrato on that. So just make it a bit longer. Okay, <clears throat> vibrato is on shift V, and uh, the first byte uh, is the range, and uh, we just take full range. If you if you write two, it will just make a little slight wing, and uh, it won't go the full range. If you want to vibrate, wing 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 wing, forward and back the full the full scale between uh, the two tones, you have to write F F. It's endless looping <coughs> then we can make uh, the first, next one is the um, the depth and we make a, a quite slow one like six uh, one is extremely fast so six is a bit slow and then uh, <coughs> or sorry it's the depth. Um, the next one is the speed. And the 12 is quite slow. The higher the number, the faster. Now we have the vibrato. We can put it on the sound over here. Let's try and hear the sound now. Just make this a bit longer. Here there's a vibrator on it now, let's change it more, it becomes more, let's try a faster one. It's, it's still, it's still the, the, the depth is still only 6. <coughs> let's try a really slow one. Let's try really fast then. So we now we 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 don't want uh, the vibrato to be active all the time. Um, remove it again. Zero. Uh, instead, we want to use uh, the vibrato as a command in the tracker because then we can make the vibrato happen at any point we want to, and 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 we can have different ones. You know, we have a fast one. Uh, this is a really fast one, and then we have one that is a bit slower and. And one that is yet even more slow. So now I have the fastest one, a bit slower and a bit slower. And I want to use these three web vibrators in the tracker. <coughs> and um, the command to uh, start a vibrator program is uh, 20 plus the program. So the first one is will be twenty one. The next one will be twenty two. And the next one will be twenty three. So 
So now first it should play the last two bars. So then it should vibrate the first one, the next one, and the third one. Now we also want to we want to stop the vibrato again. How can we do that? Well, I'm not sure, but we could maybe write the instrument number. Let's just try to write zero here. Nope, that didn't stop it. So we, we can cheat, you know, we, we just make a vibrato with nothing in it. It's not just like this. It's just nothing. So that should definitely stop the other one. You can make a, a real uh, make sound if you want to. <laughs> Let's try this. That was cool. <laughs> You, you quickly get the point. Uh, please remember to look in the manual how to do this. <coughs> I think uh, next up is how to make a vibrato. <laughs> <laughs> 